Hello, welcome back. Website Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about how you embed a social feed onto your website. It can be quite cool. There's a different, there's a load and loads and loads of different ways you can do this. Um, the most popular one that people like to do is just to put social buttons on the website. Um, that's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do that straight away. So we might want to put these, for example, uh, I'm going to put them just below this section with me and Jack looking confused in the car. So I'm going to drag a title in, I'm going to name it something about social. Follow us. Social. Put that to the middle because I'm fussy. That looks really close to that button so I'm just going to chuck a spacer in above that. Uh, now, if you scroll on the left where you've got all your elements and stuff in Weebly, if you scroll down to the bottom, there should be something called social icons. Now, this is how it is for Weebly. There might be other alternatives, uh, similar stuff in things like Wix and WordPress and all that kind of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is we click on that, we click on manage icons. Say, for example, we want to put our Facebook page on there. You click on manage icons, you click on the Facebook one. Find the Facebook page you want to embed. So, this one, for example, you copy the URL which is at the top of your screen, um, put it in, paste it, click the back button, done. That is now a clickable button on your website page which will take people through to the Facebook. Uh, and you can do this with Twitter, I'll do exactly the same. So you find the page you want them to go to, click on the Twitter one, and you paste the URL in there. Very easy, very easy. Cool, so that is where you can embed the social icons for people to just click on. Now, that is slightly different to embedding a social feed, but it is how you can link your social accounts to your website easily. Um, so the next level up from that is actually putting a feed from Twitter or Facebook or Instagram physically into your website. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do it on Twitter. So, I'm on Twitter here. This is the pop-up business called Twitter page. Um, now, if I wanted to embed the account so that people can see it and follow it straight away, the way that I would do that is I'd come onto Twitter and now there are three dots just here in the corner, which are more user actions. If you click on that, scroll down a little bit further and then you've got embed this profile. So we'll click on that. That will give us then a bit of code that we want to copy. Oh, no, I'm lying. It doesn't do that. It's now changed. It now gives us display options. So. We can embed the whole timeline, is essentially what we want to do. So we click on that, and then that will then give us that code. So there's the code, we've copied it, you just click on it. If you go back into Weebly, scroll up to the embedded code thing that we've used a lot with the PayPal stuff, drop that in. Again, click on it, edit, and then paste in the code we've just copied from Twitter. And what that should do, Amazing. What it will do is it will drop in the pop-up business school profile because we've embedded that profile itself. Now, in the editor on Weebly, it doesn't always play ball, so it might not display it properly straight away. So if we can publish that and then look at the live website, there you go, if we scroll down, you can see the embedded Twitter feed, which has got me filming website Wednesday videos. How great. Um, that's one way you can do it. So you can embed your profile tweets and that will just show everything that you're doing. Now, the other way you can do that is you can actually embed searches, Twitter searches. So for example, I have just searched for hashtag website Wednesday, which is what we post a lot of stuff on. Um, and now there's all this stuff down at the top, uh, which is top, latest people, photos, videos. I've gone on latest because they are the live tweets as they come through. Now, if you do the same thing, click on the dots in the corner and embed the search. It's exactly the same way of doing it. Um, it does give you a different style of creation with it, which is a little bit more complex. Um, you can change what the search is for, you can change it to just be the top tweets, and stuff like that. It will be different for each business that you want to do it for. Click on the bottom, click create widget. It has now been created. Now we just copy the code that is here, and exactly the same again. We drag in the embedded code, click on it, edit, paste, and there we go. And again, in the editor, it's not gonna display, so to be able to look at this to double check it looks cool, 
you're going to want to publish that. Mm -hmm. There you go. There it is. You've embedded the website Wednesday search. Um, if you want to change this stuff, so as you can see, this is really long. That's one of the problems. It doesn't always do it properly. Um, so we've got, for some reason, our pop-up is really long. So if we go to Twitter, where it says, um, it gives the display options and we embedded the timeline, there's actually a set customization option. So if we click on that, you can change the height, which is in pixels, which is basically the nerd way of measuring how big something should be on a website. If you did something like 500, then click update, that will probably be okay. So we'll copy that in, I'll try and replace it. To replace the text, again, you just click on it and edit custom HTML, replace it with the code you've just got, republish, back on the website, refresh, and there you go, we have embedded it. And can you see it's a hell of a lot shorter because I put it to only 500 pixels as opposed to the whole length that it wanted. Experiment with that, that might not be the right length for you, obviously you can change that around and do all your sort of stuff. That's how you embed Twitter onto your Facebook, onto your website. I'm going to do Facebook now. Um, very, very similar. So I'm on the pop-up business school web, uh, Facebook page. If I scroll down, so here's that lovely photo of me doing Website Wednesday stuff. Yee! If I click on the arrow in the top right of the post, it gives me the embed option. I'll click on that, and exactly the same, it gives us a code. Copy that, back onto the website. I, I'm just going to replace this one for this. Um, but you do the same, you put an embedded code plugin, paste it in and drop it. And you'll see that this actually displays this time. So it shows the, shows the post, shows the text, and actually gives it a link through to where it's going to be. Thank you for watching again this week. It's been awesome. A uh, little bit more of a tedious style job, but in the end it's actually quite cool. Works really well for businessy bits. Next week we are doing video. We're going to show you how to embed video on your website and how to do it for the free way without having to upgrade Weebly, which is very cool. Have fun. Have a good week. I'm still drinking the same cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs>